Hi everyone, it's Andrea and today we're going to have a colour and a catch up because we haven't had one this year. This is the first one of 2018. There's lots to chat about. We're going to colour in Lacey Sunshine's Oz colouring book because why not? And I'm going to colour this one which is I think Dorothy on the uh, beginning of the Yellow Brick Road. And the reason we're going to do this is it's a nice simple one so I'm, it's not going to take too much for me to, to worry about and I can chat at the same time. So I'm just going to zoom in to her because we'll start up on her face. I'm actually going to be using my feeler coloured pencils uh, this time. I haven't really used them yet because I don't like the packaging they're in. Um, if you look at these trays they're very very flimsy and I'm afraid I'm going to lose them all. And I haven't had chance or the money to order a pencil case for them. Hopefully I might do that next month or at the end of this month. So I'm just going to start colouring in Dorothy. Um, so the first thing is I'll be going into hospital soon to have my little one. So don't panic if there are no videos coming. It's just because I'm in hospital. I will be having my laptop with me, but I won't be able to upload it. Their Wi-Fi is not that good. And you've got to remember there's hundreds of people on it at any one time. So I will probably be able to keep up with your videos. Um, and if so, I will leave comments. I'll have my headphones because um, because I was diagnosed with gestational diabetes a couple of weeks ago. They're pulling me in a few weeks early and they're going to induce me on Friday afternoon. Yeah, I know. So I will be taking with me um, my laptop so I can log on to their Wi-Fi and play on my Facebook and look at all your pictures in the various Facebook groups. And I can also get onto YouTube and watch your videos. But uh, there won't be enough uh, for me to bandwidth for me to be uploading my own. So... I will, as soon as I get back, be able to upload stuff because I've got some flip-throughs recorded. And obviously I've got some of the Marilyn scrapbook tours or scrapbook flip-throughs recorded. So I will be uploading those as soon as I get out. So I will be taking with me my Prismacolors because they're in a nice case. And... A couple of colouring books. I have got the new Jade Summer book which is Alice in Wonderland. There's a flip through coming soon. Probably tomorrow. So I will be taking that one with me. I want to do something with that. And I want to... Um, I'll probably take something else. I don't know which one yet. I haven't decided. Maybe I'll take another Jade Summer one or a Selena Fennec one. I haven't decided yet. I'll have to have a look. It's one of the things I'm more worried about getting my things sorted out like my clothes. I mean, I've got my hospital bag pretty much prepared. It's been packed for ages and just finishing off lots of little bits of washing and drying and stuff. So... So yes, I shall be meeting my little one over the weekend or very early next week. Scary, but exciting. Thank you. I quite like these pencils, they, they're all right. I mean, it's, 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 this is cool. This is number 58, which is light flesh color. Not a bad color, it's a bit bit yellowy I think but maybe that's the lighting in here because when I look at it it looks all right but who knows so that's that news um so just thought I'd let you know that I might not be around much over the next week but as soon as I'm out I'll be up back to uploading and I'll try and film as soon as I can one thing with having the baby here is I can if she's asleep I can film and if she cries or wakes up or needs something, I can just stop the camera, sort out whatever she is, if she needs, and, and then come back to filming. So it's not going to be 
hopefully too bad and we'll get some more colouring catch-ups now. I'm hoping to do a haul soon. Um, I was going to do it today but then something happened and uh, yeah it's not going to. <laughs> yes I ordered something. Yeah, the item I ordered is actually coming in tomorrow but whether or not I will actually haul it now or wait until after I come out of hospital because the I get paid next week and I have found a couple of books I want. One's on, um, sorry I couldn't see that then, um, Book Depository and there's a couple on Amazon and I'm also waiting for something else to come into stock on Amazon uh, and then I'll, uh, I can do that so do one big haul. I haven't got very much, I've only got like, like four or five books at the moment and one set of supplies so I'm thinking if I just wait, I can just wait until the rest of it comes in. So I haven't really posted much this month obviously with everything that's going on. So I haven't put my two cents in on this new YouTube monetization kind of scandal thing, which isn't really much of a scandal, let's be honest, is it? Let me just have a look from the next colour. Okay. Uh, 14. There it is. Um, so, yes. So, obviously I'm a smaller channel. I haven't got 4,000 hours of watch time and nor have I got a thousand subscribers even though I've been doing YouTube videos for uh, not quite two years to be honest, not that long really. I know some people have started channels and they've got big quite quickly. Um, I think that with me it's I post when I can but because I've got so many hobbies I get distracted so I was started off doing booktube and I will be doing more booktube videos so I've got some tags I want to do but they're not going to get done anytime soon just simply because of what's going on but maybe when I come out Paul will be off work and I can go upstairs and I can film in the other room and maybe then I'll be able to do some some of these tags I want to do um, so, I mean, I do monetize my videos if I can, but I don't do all of them. So, I know that I've not made anywhere near the payout amount, which is like $100 a year, I think. I mean, I think it shows you monthly, and I'm just getting about two quid, so. But I have heard that the the way the algorithms on YouTube work is if it's not monetized you don't get a, appear in the recommendations as much I don't know if that's true so it is worrying from that point because how are smaller channels supposed to build their audiences if they can't if they're not being recommended other than um, what I have seen happening a lot, which is great, is that the YouTube community, BookTube specifically, and ColorTube come together and they're giving lots of shout outs. So this one is uh, Flesh Color number 14, by the way. Um, so I usually, when I'm doing a color and catch up, shout out a channel, whether it's a big one or a small one, it's just a channel I enjoy. I know a lot of other YouTubers are doing things like going over to either Patreon, which I can see the point of, but I, it's hard to sign up for Patreon because you have to pay every month. And even if it's only a dollar a month, it's, it's, not everybody can always afford that every single month. So for instance, at some point I'm gonna go on to no pay while I'm on my maternity leave, so I won't have a spare dollar or pound. Uh, so dark flesh colour is number 
80 but there's a medium one which looks very orange which says 42 there's 42 it's a bit orange if you ask me but I don't know so ow that was sharp <laughs> It's a girl sharpener does really sharpen. Um, yeah, so I mean, I'm not going to create a Patreon account. I, it's not something I could see anybody signing up to for me. The other one I've seen a lot of people have signed up for is what's called a coffee account. Where you kind of buy them a coffee and it's only like three dollars. Um, it's like a tip jar. Again, I think that's a, a slightly better idea. Quite, I quite like that idea. But again, I'm not going to set one of those up. I mean, especially at the moment. I don't have the time to go fiddling it around. I mean, obviously, if you think I should, let me know down below in the comments. What I do do is I do have an Amazon affiliate account and I do post links to the products that I'm using. And if uh, anybody buys them, uh, that product from using the link I provide then I will get a small commission it, it is minuscule um, and I think they pay out at 25 pounds in the UK I think it's a bit less it's less dollars in in the states but I mean I'll continue to do that and so if you're in the UK and you're looking to say to buy this book I will leave an Amazon affiliate link for it in the description of this um, description box of this video as I did when I did the flip through, which um, I only actually, I did ages ago, but I only uploaded it today. Um, if you click on that link, I will get something like 20p. So again, it's a long time before it pays out, but it's not as long as Amazon AdSense, um, uh, Google AdSense, which only pays out after $100. It actually pays out after, um, £25, which is, a lot less so I will continue to do that but like I said if you think I should set up a coffee account and you, you know if you'd be happy to tip it let me know and I'll see if I can do that and I don't know if it's available in the UK but uh, it might be I've heard that some people in the UK have have done it I would rather do something like that than Patreon because Patreon is a commitment every month and you know, I might do a month where I do a video that you're not that keen on. I might just do a photography video and you're only interested in the colouring videos. I don't expect you to pay me every month if I'm not putting up content that you you want to see. If, of course, I'm putting up a lot of content, then fine. That's nice, but, you know. I've got to be honest, like I said, I haven't had a payout from Amazon. I keep saying Amazon from Google AdSense. And I've had an AdSense account for years because I always used to use Blogspot or Blogger. And of course, they, you know, I signed up for AdSense then and I never had a payout then either. So it's not something I would ever rely on or think is a, you know, I'm not. I mean, while it's nice to make a bit of money back to spend on improving things on the channel so getting new books and new pencils because it isn't that you know some of these pencils aren't cheap now these feelers when I bought them were 23 99 um I think they're up to back they've got back up to 33 99 that's UK pounds um uh, so You know, it's not cheap. I mean, and if I run out of a colour, I have to buy the whole set again because you can't get these ones open stock. But I don't expect, you know, people to contribute if they're not enjoying the content. So that's why I won't say I'd sign up for Patreon. However, if you like this book, I mean, and I've got lots of flip throughs coming up, um, for instance, the Jade Summer one's got a flip through and, and you want a copy yeah by all means click on the amazon link support it that way i am a big book depository affiliate i've never made any money off of the book depository so much so i start stopped pay, pay, putting the link in the notes <clears throat> i don't 
that I will be ordering a colouring book from Book Depository, or maybe two, soon. So if I do, I will then leave um, the Book Depository link. It doesn't go through to the exact item, it just goes through to the, the Book Depository page, so. But, uh, it's not, it's uh, an idea. And it's only because I, must admit, I do have Amazon Prime. I am impatient. How long I'll have it for, I don't know. But uh, I like the fact that I ordered something today, first thing this morning, about 8 o'clock this morning, and it'll be here tomorrow. So... I do like that. With Book Depository, you can wait a while for it to come, so. But saying that, Book Depository is a great company, free shipping regardless, which is why it takes a bit longer, so. So here's Dorothy so far. She's looking nice, looking good. Excuse my arm while I put the pencil back. Hey, what sort of red do we want to use for the ruby slippers? There are four trays of these and they are so, so flimsy. One, three. And what was the other one? love to, to get some money back to I could get more things to the channel but I don't expect it so if you think I should create a coffee account let me know down below and I possibly will um, but alternatively you can just order using the links if you're in the UK I mean I could set up a, an affiliate account for Amazon America as well for US but you know what I'd get confused with all the different links I'd be putting in. We'll see how it goes. So these go quite nicely on this paper actually. So I'm doing them um, red, the shoes red, like I would in most of Wizard of Oz books. Even though in the original Balm books, the shoes were silver. So, the, um, the reason they're red in the film, and it is one of my favorite films, is because when they were making it in Technicolor, the idea was that the red would show up much better on the Technicolor screen. And they're right. The slippers themselves aren't actually ruby red, they're more of a purplish red. Uh, because of the way that Technicolor works and the way that the light works and they are... the way that the colour is recorded on the film. So, but yeah, so the reason that they're red in the film is because it was felt that it would show up better on the Technicolor film. I have a host of film trivia. I love films. But 
particularly old movies. Old movies are my thing. Oh, they, I do, I love old movies. So this this one this was this one was actually called Ruby Red, the top colour, number 16. And the bottom colour that I'm doing for the soles is 103 and it's um peach dark peach blow. Deep peach blow. And of course I will be probably putting stickles on them as well. Because you've got to have glittery shoes. <laughs> Let's just give her some red lips. So, I like this cutesy little, I like these Lacey Sunshine books. I, at first I wasn't that keen on them. I like my pictures to look realistic. I like the girls to look real. But saying that, these ones are so cute that I love them. And the same with Hannah Lynn. Um, I've only got one Hannah Lynn book, a PDF and some free downloads. But I really want to get some more Hannah Lynn books. Girls are gorgeous. And her new one, which I think is Fairy Tales. <gasps> from what I've seen from her Facebook page and group, it looks fantastic. There is a Wizard of Oz one. She posted a teaser of it today. Oh my god, I love it. I love it and I want it so much. So I will be definitely ordering that one when it comes out. So I can't wait because it, it does look absolutely stunning. Um, so if you're not a member of Han Lin's group, definitely go and join it. Right. We will use... Here, some nice browns. Raw umber. And that's the one I want, that's 66. And uh, 102. There's 102. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, it's going to be in that set, that's fine. Um, Fifty-two is after that one. There's fifty-two. And then from this one I wanted one two. That one I think. No. Uh, I gotta get a case of these, that's the one. So I'm gonna do her hair now. I've got three different shades of brown. I've got 102, which is called Coffee Red. I've got 66, which is Coffee. All right, a nice sharp point on these. And I've got 52, which is Raw Amber. So, the hair. And then we'll use some other browns for, obviously, Toto. I've got my colour chart here that they actually give you a colour chart with the feelers, which is nice. So, let's see. And you fill it in. So, even though I've done my own swatching as well. I like to uh, make sure it's, uh, oops, we've gone out of focus. How far are we doing? We're at 24 minutes. It's fine. I keep an eye on it because, I mean, I know some people's videos are like two hours long or an hour long. I think it's far too long. It takes too long to upload, even when I complete, com convert it to MPEG rather than to AVI. It still takes a fair time, especially during the evening. But, um, also I don't, I don't want to bore you. My sister-in-law, Claire, hi Claire, if you're watching, leave me a comment. 
I actually said to my mum on the phone not long back, she said, I can't believe I sat there for 30 minutes and watched Andrea Kellerin. <laughs> so thanks for watching, Claire. It is appreciated. So keep watching because the more you watch, the better my um, watch time goes up. And as soon as my watch time hits 4,000 hours and I get 1,000 subscribers, I'm a long way off yet, I can get back into the monetization program. <laughs> So yes, please, please keep watching. Please keep watching. And that's, that's another thing. I mean, one of the ways I support the smaller tubers, whether they're book tube or colour tube or photography tubes, is to try and help them get their hours up. Even if it's, I mean, you've got till the 20th of February to hit a thousand subscribers and 4,000 watch hours. Um, this year but if you hit it afterwards you can then reapply to go back into the monetization program so it's not that if you don't hit by that point you'll never be in it because that wouldn't be fair on new youtubers so even if I don't get back into it for a little while because I, I mean I've only got 350 odd subscribers I'm happy with that I never thought I'd get that many it'd be nice to get a thousand and be able to be considered but you still need the watch time so what I tend to do with those who, the smallest booktubers I'm subscribed to, or YouTubers, colour tubers, whatever. I will sit there and I will colour and I will just let the videos play. Regardless of what it is. I will just let, let the video play. Just sit there and colour or... Now have it on in the background. Some people say turn the sound off and just have it playing. But if you've got YouTube on, you know, just sit there and let the whole video play. Don't um, turn it off after a few minutes. I tend to just let them, if it's, it's something that perhaps I'm not as interested in, I still let it play through um, unless the person's really annoying. And there's not many of those people on there. I gotta be honest. I hate, or I dislike, I wouldn't say I hate, because hate's a very strong word and I don't use hate. I don't do hating, it's not worth my time to hate anything. I dislike it when, not sp like speed colouring, I can see the point of that, but um, I don't particularly watch speed colouring because I like to watch it in real time. But when somebody's talking and then they'll speed the the film up for no reason to get through what they're saying um if you're gonna bother to record yourself and you want that bit in the video leave it in don't speed it up leave it in if it's not that important and that's the only reason i could see why you would speed it up is because it's not important cut it out and I'm not one of these people who does a lot of jump cuts. But if I ramble on about something I don't think should be in there, I'll just go and cut it out. Especially if it's a booktube video. Booktubers do it a lot. And I don't get it. Why is being Alvin like this? I'm watching Alvin and the Chipmunks. I hate Alvin and the Chipmunks. I'm sorry. You know, if it's, if it's in the video, it needs to be in the video. Let me understand. Let me hear it properly, what you're saying. Because half the time, if you speed it up, I can't understand a word that you're saying. But if you're not gonna, if it's not gonna be in there or it doesn't need to be in there, then just cut that section out. Because, you know, it doesn't need to be there. Right, my battery's about to die, so I've got another one here, so I'm gonna go and change that and I'll be right back. Well, that didn't take long, did it? No, a new battery, so that happens. So yeah, um, I forgot what I was talking about. Oh yeah, YouTubers that speed up their videos so that you can't understand a word they're saying. <gasps> really, really annoys me. So, yeah. Right, finish that one for now. But, saying that, I mean, that's just one thing that annoys me and I will tend to turn off those YouTubers. There's a few I don't, but then the few that I don't, don't tend to do it very much anymore. Um, Missy the binge reader did it for a while. I was like, oh no, Missy, don't do that. She doesn't seem to do it anymore. I, I don't do it. I don't see the point in it. So. But yeah, as I was saying, just let the videos play. 
If I'm watching a UK YouTuber or a book depository affiliate YouTuber and they link something um, um, in their description that I'm considering buying, I use the link. Doesn't cost me a penny. Um, if it is a channel that's monetized, you can let the adverts play and they get a small percentage if the advert plays all the way through. If it's um, you can also click on the ad and if you click on the ad they get more again I've got to be honest ads are those things you know you'll either watch some of them and and you'll flip through others it's exactly what I do with the TV I'll leave adverts playing if I've got to go to the toilet or make a drink I'm drinking my tea now but I will totally skip them if it's something irritating or I'm really not interested in. Um, I tend to watch, and I know that unfortunately, YouTubers don't have any control on what ads are on their, um, their videos, but the types of videos, the types of ads I will actually watch are things like film trailers. Even if it's a film I'll probably never want to go and see, I love watching film trailers. So, if there's if I if I if I watch a whole one, it's probably because there's a film trailer on it. Um, but yeah, so and sometimes it's just like oh, I can't be bothered to skip through it, or I can't find the remote control. But if it's something I really hate or really dislike, I would say I would hate. It's not marmite, you know. If it's something I really don't like very much, then yes, I'll skip through it. But if it's something that I'm interested in, or it's a film thing, a film trailer, I love watching those. I will happily sit there and watch film trailers all day. Sometimes it's just to find out what the blinking film is, because they don't always put it on, do they? So. Um, but yeah, so I mean, obviously, if you let the ad play through, that YouTuber will then receive a, a small commission in their AdSense. But of course, that's only people who are going to be monetized. So, which I've got no chance of it at the moment. Half the time I don't bother. Sometimes I put ads on and sometimes I don't. It really just depends. I can see the point of having them. I think they're good. And I think they obviously help YouTube keep the platform going. So in that case, you know, I, but I can see why people are annoyed because it is only smaller content makers that are being punished. Yet it is, in most cases, the bigger content makers, not in all cases, but in some cases, that are causing problems. Um, we all know about the, the Logan Paul debacle. We're not going to go into the, the ins and outs of that. We all know about it. We've all seen it on the news. He's not the only one that's doing it. He made a big mistake. He's an idiot. It was a very, very stupid thing to do. Um, and my personal thoughts are that his channel should be pulled entirely. It won't be because he makes YouTube too much money. Um, but then you get a smaller channel like mine, whereas I haven't got any, you know, he's got millions of subscribers. I've got like 350 something. It's easier for them to pull the plug on me. Just in case I do something silly. And it's not just because of Logan Paul. I mean, he has just become a scapegoat for the community, I think. There's a lot more to it than just him. I 
mean, I, I read on Facebook today about a uh, YouTuber. I've never heard of her. She's got about 100,000 subscribers. So she's fairly big. She's not uh, not the biggest, but she's not small. Who had asked a hotel, a very pricey hotel in, in Dublin, for a free room Valentine's weekend in exchange for some publicity on YouTube. No. Um, and there's been a lot about that. There is a sense of some of these people, not all of them, some of these people have a sense, and I don't know the full ins and outs of the story, this is just the basics, um, that she that there was said that some YouTubers, and I'm not saying she does because I don't know her, have, uh, seem to have a, the bigger ones, a sense of entitlement, that they're entitled to get things for free. And basically this hotel said no. You pay like everybody else. You know. Yeah, it's free advertising, but I've still got to pay my staff at the end of the day. And, and you know. I don't know. I mean, as a booktuber, I've had free books in exchange for reviews from various companies. And yes, I've gone and asked them for, oh, can I have this? Can I have that? Now, um, Head of Zeus is one I use, I, I work a lot with. Now they will email me every now and again and say, oh, do you want to read this one? Do you want to take part in the blog tour for this book? And if it sounds like something that's up my alley, I will. And I will say, yes, please, please send me a copy of the book. I will happily read and review it. If it's something I don't like the sound of, I just go back and say, well, unfortunately, I'm unable to do this at this time. Um, I've got to be honest, Head of Zeus have been brilliant to me. They, they actually published one of my favourite authors, which is... Um, Terry Goodkind. And they've never offered me a Terry Goodkind book to review because they tend to send out their smaller authors and that's fine. I've read some very good books that way and I've happily done it. Happily done it. But and that's the way it should be. I reached out to them originally asking for something and then they contacted me and I said look keep me in mind if you're doing any reviews or blog tours and I have, you know, happily review some of their books. Some of their books I'm not interested in. Some of them have been some of the best books I've read. I mean, the, the, the Raven Master trilogy was absolutely fantastic. It's one of the best trilogies I've ever read. It's a, a middle grade young adult. I'm not actually sure how that works, but I don't know. I'm from an old generation. But, the, you know, it's one of the best trilogies I, I've, I've read and I will happily promote that. Always say it's, it's a really good set of books and that I think people should read it. It also highlights a very important time for women during World War II where they were part of the flying planes gonna check the time wow okay so we're probably going about 35 to 40 minutes and we've only done this tiny 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 little bit so I just need to put these browns away I'll do that after um, so what color shall we do her dress so we got process light sea cerulean deep sea I'm thinking one hundred and twenty three. The problem we got with this is the, the colour chart doesn't actually line up. It's actually that one, it's one I've used before. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay. What I'm to do? Yeah, that didn't sharpen very well. Hmm. Let's try again. Is it full? I think it might be full. Let me get my pot. Yeah. Here we go. So, I mean, obviously that's just my opinion on the monetization thing. I said I will be leaving, it's not sharpening very well, links below if you wish to buy this book or the feeler colored pencils via Amazon. I will get a small commission, uh, but that's entirely up to you. I don't expect it. I don't demand it. Like I said, if you think I should get a coffee account, please let me know. And I'll happily, if you think I should, or if you're willing to give me a tip, I'll, I'll do that. Like I said, any money made. Any money made on this channel. Um, from links will be going back into this channel into buying books and supplies and colouring books it won't be going into my pocket for me to spend on DVDs or Christmas stuff for presents or for people It'll be an Amazon voucher. That's how I've specified my Amazon money to come. And uh, it will, ah, it broke. I think this is probably why I didn't use it last time. I got, not that one, where's the other? I got loads of shots. Ah. One, let's use this one. See if I can get this work. The only problem sometimes with pencils is they do break. That's better. Is that okay? Yeah, that seems to be better now. Right. Yeah, now it's breaking all the way through this one. Ooh. People say they have problems with prisoners. We do have problems with prisoners. I have had problems with some of them, but not many. I've got to be honest. So, we'll just do this part of her dress. Then we'll, we'll stop for today. I might do another one on Thursday. We can carry on with this. I'll let you know if there's any more news. And then after that, it'll be when I get out of hospital. And I'll, uh, we'll see how it goes. There will, like I said, there will be a current book haul fairly soon. And, um, a supplies haul, because I've got some supplies coming. It's all exciting. So what have you guys been colouring? Have you been colouring anything exciting? Have you got any more, have you got any really good books I should be uh, looking at? I mean, I have been looking at the, um, the Clara Markova ones, uh, Tentful Enchantments and that, and Magical Delights. I haven't got those because they're so expensive. And there are so many other books out there. I don't have a huge amount of money to spend at the moment. So, um, I don't want to spend a fortune on one or two books. I know I'm not the best colourist in the world. I spent quite a lot getting serene. I've coloured one picture in it. Whereas like the Hannah Carlson books, I've actually coloured a few pictures in, in, them, in one of them. I'm pretty sure I'll be getting one of the Clara Markova books soon. It's just got to happen. There's just so many books out. I don't, as I said, I don't know how people afford them, but then it's their hobby. And if it's your main hobby, 
then go for it. For me, it's not my main hobby. I've got lots of hobbies, as you know, because I read a lot and I take photographs and that's not cheap. Photography is not a cheap hobby. Um, this one's broke as well. There's the blues all seem to be broken. I wonder why. It's weird to have a look at these. It's not so broken you can't use it though, so. So yeah. Sometimes I think it's because you like such a sharp point. I'll just leave it like that. The small points seem to be slightly better. Oh, those blue ones. The rest of them seem to be okay. It's weird. Hmm. What I do like about the feelers is there's quite a few purples. And obviously purple's not a colour you get a lot of because it is quite expensive to produce, so it is nice to uh, get a set that's got a fair few purples in it. So tomorrow, which is Wednesday, we will have a new series called Whip on Wednesdays or Wednesday Whips. Um, I don't think there'll be one next Wednesday, but because uh, I don't know if I'll be at the hospital. But uh, if I am, there will be if I can do one. And basically, other than these, this one, which is for colour and catch up, and we'll carry on with this in the next video because I'm going to stop fairly shortly. What will happen is every Wednesday I'll show you all the whips I've got, so anything new I've started or anything that's been hanging around for ages. And we're gonna pick one. I'm gonna pick one and then I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna try and get that one finished by the following Wednesday. Some of it will be done on camera and some of it won't. Um, once I get the hospital finished and sorted out and I'm back, yay, to some sort of regular normality. <laughs> Says she laughing because it's never gonna be normal again. I'll probably ask you which one I should do. Yeah, in fact, I, 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 I might, I might start that anyway tomorrow. I'll, I'll decide. I know which one I'm gonna try and finish on camera tomorrow. But after that, I might ask you which one. If I think I will ask you tomorrow which one I, which one do you want me to finish? Because. Uh, You know, they can be quite daunting when you've got quite a lot of them. Like I said, I will be taking in one book to hospital, which is the Jade Summer, at least one, which is Jade Summer's uh, one on, uh, what's it called? <laughs> Alice. Alice in Wonderland. Um, so I will be taking that one in. This is nearly 50 minutes long, so I will be stopping it fairly shortly. And uh, hopefully I will come back on Thursday. And we'll do some more of it. So we've got a lot of her dress done. I'm going to go and make some dinner for the pair of us because Paul will be home soon. So you're really my company while I'm on maternity leave. You, you guys, you are my company. It's great. I love it. I love watching your videos and I love chatting to you. Um, there will be a new series coming to the channel soon. I was going to put it on a separate channel, but I'm going to put it on this one. And I'll tell you all about that on Thursday. But I'm going to have to leave it here because it's getting late. And we've been going for 40 minutes. We've only done 
that bit of Dorothy. So we've done her skin and her hair, her bows and her feet and most of the dress, but not all of it. So I'm really looking forward to getting onto the yellow brick road. I really am. So that's what I've done so far. Like I said, I will leave a link to the Amazon UK site for both this book and the feelers. I do like them. I like the colours. I like the way they're laying down. This is actually the first time I've used them properly. I have used them a little bit in the past, but not properly like I am today. So that's all for this very long video. Claire, I hope you're still watching. <laughs> Um, I will see you fairly shortly. So I'm just picking up a bit of lead. Well, it's not lead, it's wax. But there you go. Um, I will see you in the next couple of days. Um, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And I will see you all soon. Thanks then. Bye now.